This Runway Girl Network video is brought to you by Global Eagle. Moss with Runway Girl Network, and we're here at, uh, how do you say it? Gutech. Gutech, okay, yeah. and you are? That's uh, Max Lingua, founder and CEO of uh, Gutech. Nice, so tell me about your company. It, it seems like there, it, you got some magic going on here. That's correct. You know, <laughs> it's the magic who brought me across the ocean. I, I used to live in London, and I received a phone call from the US, and somebody told me if I want to work in IFE. I never even heard this word <laughs> back in 2005. I thought it was a joke, somebody pulling your leg. <laughs> and uh, when I moved here, I found myself uh, in one of the most entertaining adventures of my life. And uh, my first task in this uh, uh, amazing industry was to create uh, um, something called a 3D driver for the Panasonic Avionics EX2. There was oh. no 3D graphics before, no 3D games at all. And at a certain point, I have like the technology, I have like a 3D capability on a system. Yeah. And I need like something which is good to test that it actually works. And I say, okay, what's the best to test like a 3D driver if not a 3D games? So we started developing the first 3D games uh, to fly in the civil aviation. Oh, nice. And, um, and yeah. what year was that? That That's... was uh, 2006. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, the first uh, uh, customer of EX2 system were Singapore Airlines. Oh, okay. And uh, so they were also the first to have like a 3D games uh, in, uh, in the air. You were saying too that they're the first to do a female centered game too? Is that what? Uh, that's uh, like when we sold the games to Singapore Airlines, one of the games that we're very proud to sell to them is this uh, um, interesting game called Siberia. It plays as an interactive movie. Uh -huh. So you're actually watching a movie and then you have to interact with it to make the plot go forward in different directions. Oh, cool. And uh, actually, like uh, um, speaking of that, there are more and more uh, female passengers playing the games. That's and we actually game. happen to have like uh, uh, an interesting uh, uh, female creature in our team as well, <laughs> uh -huh. which happens to be our game tester. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> What's your name? Cody Carpenter. Oh, cool. And you're a game tester? I am. Like, best job ever, right? I know. <laughs> Seriously. It seems like there's a lot more girls playing video games. Am I imagining that, or is it... No, I definitely happening? think that's true. Uh -huh. Like, I get on my boyfriend's PlayStation all the time, uh -huh. and I play games. I play games <laughs> that you probably would never expect a girl to play. Oh, and, that's awesome. And I see other girls playing, because I can just tell by their name. And uh -huh. And then they'll get on the microphone and they talk and it's a girl and I'm uh, like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Oh, that's and cool. Definitely, I think that people are making games more universal uh -huh. and they're making it not towards a certain gender. They're making it so that no matter what gender you are, you can play the same game. Yeah. So, like, a lot of our games are exactly like that. Like, uh -huh. I don't think that our games here, like, have a gender specific. I mean, mm. maybe for little kids or something. Sure. But still, like, a lot of little kids, like, little boys will play the same games that little girls are playing. And little girls sure. will play the same games that little boys are playing. That's awesome. So it's like the gender neutral exactly. revolution kind exactly. of or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Finally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's great. Yeah. So what's this game? Siberia is your Siberia. Okay. Yes, oh, cool. Yes. And it, who's it flying on? Uh, it's uh, it's flying on a bunch of different yeah. airlines, yeah. like yeah. Singapore. Uh -huh. um, it's also flying on. Aeroflot, Al and Aeroflot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, great. So it's it's around. Yeah. Yes, it's be flying oh. around. And a, what, a, what are you saying about the? How many people played it or something? You had some stats on. Uh, that's correct. Like, well, this is uh, related to a different game. So oh, we were okay. like wondering what are the most ga play games on board. Because uh, you have like both like full blown console games and also simpler games like classic. Oh, and we okay. were like, like, like Atari. That's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. And we were like uh, quite completely amazed when the, the report came back and the most played games on board was actually a classic game called Arkanoid, oh. which is uh, the classic brick blaster the Atari Breakout, mm -hmm. which as some people probably remember was created by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Oh, was I didn't realize that. Yeah, okay, that's oh, cool. the Because they were able to add the color to the game. The uh -huh. original oh. version didn't have it. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, as, uh, but now going back to the Arkham, so Arkham is like Breakout on steroids uh -huh. and is played by 15,000 people each month on wow. eight planes, which gives like an average of almost 2,000 yeah. people per plane. Wow. And uh, if you go to the movies, uh, as, Let's say one of the latest titles, like Logan, yeah. is only watched by just 200 people more on each plane per month. Wow. So, and uh, you know, and because uh, there is the idea that like games are Cinderella content on yeah. the plane, and uh, that's uh, completely uh, inaccurate. Yeah, yeah. Because games are actually becoming uh, more and more relevant. Uh, content for the passenger yeah. currently flying. I never heard that term, Cinderella content. You mean just kind of extra 
yeah, it gives you, it gives you an idea that like yeah. uh, you know, like they are not uh, not as important. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. But you know, Cinderella at the end it becomes a princess. So yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the perception of uh, people who are uh, uh, kind of biased. Yeah. About, uh, the reality. But it seems like princesses are taking charge, man. They do. It's not just. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Thank you so much for talking to me, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. See ya. Bye.